welcome to the YouTube channel. The channel is the education. In this session, you are going to learn Chapter 3, Database Management System, shortly called as DBMS. Before entering into the chapter, let's recall some of the things. First of all, what is data? A data is meaningful information like your name, your favorite color, etc. Two, complex data like astronomical data that scientists handle. Everything comes under database. So first point, data is a meaningful information. Next, a student details in a school the citizen information in a election department, colleges information in UGC, then employees details in a company, customer detail in a bank, stock details in a supermarket, vehicle details in a RD office, etc. Have you heard these things? Yes, as a school student, you know your details are maintained in the office. And the election department will have all the details of the citizen. So they are providing the election card, voter ID. And also UGC have all the information about the colleges who are afflicted colleges to UGC. So when you go to the website of UGC, you can collect all the information regarding the colleges, about the arts and science colleges. So all the informations gathered by any of the department are said to be data. So here we are going to learn how these data are managed and what is the link between database management system and these data. Is it clear children? So data is a meaningful information. So some of the examples are given here where the data are managed. These are all only small things, but data are managed in many of the places. So how the informations are managed earlier days, how managed now, what is the link between the database management system and these data? So the data are collected in a paper and file like this, and sometimes it is written in a book. This is the method, one of the method to maintain these data. Before databases, that means the concept which we are going to learn in this chapter, database management system, before that, everything had to be recorded on paper. We had list journals, ledgers containing hundreds of thousands or even millions of records. But there are some drawbacks while maintaining these things on paper. What are the drawbacks? When it was necessary to find any record, then it was a time-consuming task. Many problems will arise if the records are misplaced. There were also security problems. So time-consuming task, if it is misplaced, many problems will arise and there is a big problem for the security of the book or the ledgers. So these are the drawbacks when the data are maintained in paper. So before the evaluation of DBMS concept, the concept of storing the data started before 40 years in various formats. In early days, they have used punched card technology to store the data. I have given the image of punch card and the machine how the punches are made in the particular paper. It's a different technology. Now it's out of fashion. Then files were used. File systems were known as residuals of database system. Various access methods in file system were indexed random and sequential accesses. What is the meaning is like our files, the text file, the document file, the image file, but these are not database files those days. 
file system means mainly it is with the text in early days now it is completely changed so the file system where the files are in the hard disk in a digital form then the file system is in use first it, it was in paper then it, they used the punched cards then they used the file system while they are using the file system they used two methods to uh, retrieve the data and manipulate the data these methods are uh, indexed to random file accessing method sequential access method sequential means the files are in a order so if i want to fetch i have to go one by one random access method means i can fetch any data in any one of the place these are all internal process how the files are handled uh, now that uh, even the file system had more limitations but in this chapter we are not going to learn in elaborate about the file system because we are moving to the next concept of dbms they are given some drawbacks or the limitations even in the file system what are they data duplication that means same data is used by multiple resources for processing thus created multiple copies of same data wasting the spaces so when it is stored in the hard disk if the same content is stored in many places it wastes of using the space next is high maintenance access control and verifying data consistency needs high maintenance cost next less security less security provided to the data so database system became popular to overcome the above limitations of the file system so first it is in punched cards then it is in file system then the next stage is dbms so what is database database was created to try and solve these limitations of traditional paper based information storages databases are a part of every but everybody's daily routine how databases are in our day to day life even people who do not know own a computer or mobile phone interact with them regularly is it interesting right now only we are hearing what is database but the concept is all the people are in touch with the database without knowing the concept let's see what they are when we take out money from an atm check our bal bank balance shop online view social media or perform almost any digital interaction we are accessing a database i'll repeat if we interact that means if we have a digital interaction we are accessing a database so when we check a balance in our atm we don't know we just simply give the pin number and we are able to see the options given in the atm card and if we want to see the balance and query we'll check with the balance if we want to withdraw we'll withdraw we know only this much but there is a database maintenance behind that when we are shopping in online if you want to select a product have you seen that one leave two or left over the time is limited so the same site is viewed by many hundreds or thousands of people at a time so the records are given to them if you fetch if we fetch for a particular product for example if you fetch for a model of a mobile the data is given so there is a database management behind this to manipulate this then if we use the any social media if we use our page facebook have you ever seen that it will show the page like uh, we are very much concerned with our memory so see this was posted 3 years back they will show you a photo which was posted by us 3 years back so that there our data is are maintained that there is a role of database management in rail, indian railways these are all only examples we can see the total number of seats available in a particular train so all the places database management play a role adha nama day to day life la idella use pandrom 
இதுல இருந்து இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் எப்படி எடுக்கணுங்கிறத நம்ம பழகிட்டோம் ஆனா இதுக்கு பின்னாடி டேட்டாபேஸ்னு ஒரு கான்செப்ட் ஒர்க் ஆகுறது நார்மலா இருக்க பர்சனுக்கு தெரியாது ஆனா கம்ப்யூட்டர் சயின்ஸ் ஸ்டூடெண்டா நீங்க அதை பத்தி தெரிஞ்சுக்க போறீங்க இப்ப நான் ஒரு பேங்க் பேலன்ஸ் பாக்குறேன் அப்படின்னா என்னோட நேம் என்னோட பின் நம்பர் கொடுத்தோன்னே என்னோட நேம் டிஸ்பிளே ஆகும் அதுக்கப்புறம் அதுல இருக்க டீட்டெயில்ஸ் வருது அப்போ என்னோட பேங்க் அக்கௌண்ட்ல இருக்கிற இன்ஃபர்மேஷன்ஸ் என்னால இந்த இடத்துல ஃபெச் பண்ணி பார்க்க முடியும் பட் தெர் இஸ் அ கோடிங் பிஹைண்ட் தட் அண்ட் தெர் இஸ் அ சாஃப்ட்வேர் டு மேனேஜ் தீஸ் திங்ஸ் தட்ஸ் ஓன்லி வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு லேர்ன் இன் திஸ் சாப்டர் வை வி லேர்ன் டிபிஎம்எஸ் Traditionally, data was organized in five formats. DBMS was a new concept then, and all the research was done to make it overcome the deficiency in traditional style of data management. This is the important thing. Now, DBMS, actually the DBMS word stands for Database Management System. So, let's see the heading word by word. a database is a place where we store retrieve and manage data this is very important we are going to store retrieve and manage data the data is a meaningful information the management system refers to a set of programs to manage the data we have with various actions like storing retrieving filtering etc so a database management system is a software and also the place where the meaningful data is stored retrieved and managed some of the popular dbms management uh, that means database management system is mysql oracle etc giving production to data user friendly for users are some of the notable features of good dbms we are going to see in elaborate what is dbms and we are going to learn queries definitions for database database is a collection of interrelated data which helps in efficient retrieval insertion and deletion of data from databases and organizations the data in the form of tables views schemas reports etc so this is the thing what we are going to learn in this session so we are going to learn the data which are maintained in the format of tables in a database apart from tables we can have views schemas reports etc so we are going to learn all the concepts in this session for in for example university database organizes the data about students faculty and admin staff etc which helps in efficient retrieval insertion and deletion of data from it so the introduction class for the dbms is first the data is a meaningful information next the data is maintained in the paper in early days then we used punch cards then we used to file system then we move on to the dbms so dbms is a collection of data is interlinked in a form of table apart from table there are many concepts in the dbms we are going to learn in our upcoming videos thank you for watching this video if you like this video subscribe this channel to watch the upcoming videos thank you have a good day